Talk to us on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and root our Galaxy Note Edge. Uh, this will work on most of the Note Edge. Uh, the root method we'll be using today will be installing uh, CWM Recovery, Clock My Recovery, uh, by XA user Cheng Blue. And uh, uh, I would normally recommend Twerp, but Twerp is not uh, available. But the instructions are pretty much the same, uh, whether you're using Twerp or Clock My Recovery, the menus just look a little bit different. Uh, but let's go ahead and root my Node Edge. Let's go do this, baby. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and root our Node Edge. Um, you can pretty much root as long as uh, you have a, uh, there exists a Clock My Recovery or Twerp Recovery for your device. Uh, by the time you actually see this video, there your phone may be supported, um, you know, hopefully. But I've got the Korean uh, SK Telecom Note Edge. Uh, currently, there is a clock mod recovery for the uh, SK Telecom. There's uh, for US, there's uh, for uh, T-Mobile, the SMN915T, also the Sprint version. I'll show you in here in a second, but uh, let's go ahead and root this baby. Uh, first thing you want to do is obviously turn off your phone, uh, power off your phone. All right. And we're going to go ahead and put it into uh, Odin download mode. And how you do that is uh, hit the volume down, center home, and the power. And hold it for about three seconds until you see this uh, warning sign. Ooh, it's in Korean. That's the first. Uh, because it's a Korean phone. But don't worry. Just hit the volume up key, and you'll see the Odin download mode. All right? And make a note of your uh, product name here. This shows your actual model name, SMN915S. That's what I have. Because we'll need to download the correct clock mount recovery or tour recovery for it. Um, go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. Do not use a, uh, a USB hub. Connect it directly to your uh, computer. And also, um, yeah, that's it. And let's go to our computer next. All right, next you'll need to go download the uh, correct clock my recovery or tour recovery. Go to my new site called uh, noteedgefruit.com here. Go here and then go click on uh, clock my recovery tour recovery. This this, this one here, uh, CWM tour recovery. And then go ahead and download the appropriate uh, clock my recovery or tour recovery. As you can see, tour recovery it doesn't exist yet as of this video, but it it might exist if you want to use Torp. You can go ahead and use that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and download the SMN915S because that's the model number I have. So let me go ahead and download this. And to download, just wait five seconds and enter the CAPTCHA and it will download. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enter the CAPTCHA, Romeo, and this will download the file. Uh, you will also need to download Samsung USB drivers if you don't have it installed. Um, you can go ahead and download that and just simply run the program and then unplug and plug your USB. I'll show you in a second. So that's been downloaded here. All right, once you have downloaded the file, uh, also go ahead and download Odin uh, 3v185.0. I'll have the link. And also go ahead and download the uh, Samsung USB drivers if you need it. I'm not sure if you need it. If you rooted your room, uh, if you rooted any kind of Galaxy phones before, you probably don't need it. But if you didn't, you'll have to install it. Uh, next, what you want to do is go to uh, Odin 3 v 185 here and go ahead and extract all files. And this will extract Odin program into a folder called Odin 3 v 185 All right. And go ahead and simply run this here and then hit the run button and you'll see Odin uh, program appear here. Next, what you'll do is uh, simply choose PDA and then go to your downloads folder and then go ahead and click on the tar file you downloaded. Uh, for me it's N91S because that's my model number, clock my recovery dot tar. Uh, or if you're using twerp, it could be twerp blah open recovery blah blah dot tar. Open that and hit start and this will install uh, the clock my recovery. Alright, it does not erase anything on your phone. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and you'll see it uh, installing. and reset and pass and boom shakalaka. If you get that, you're good to go and it will reboot, all right? And let your phone reboot and we're gonna download one more file, okay? All right, next you'll wanna download uh, this file called update super su blah blah dot zip. Um, this is called a super su zip file. 
uh, just remember uh, super su zip file go ahead and download it just like the way we did with the other files uh, we're gonna go ahead and copy it over onto our phone and we're gonna go my phone just booted up so I'm gonna just wait until uh, it connects here and it's connected but I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it plug it back in sometimes you have to do it like twice I'll give it another second there you go so my note edge is showing up on the left here as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and do right click copy go into my note edge uh, you can copy anywhere if you have an SD card or phone but I, I do recommend putting it on the phone this is not a large file um, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it anywhere here all right and there I have it the super SD user file that's all we really need to do and we're gonna go ahead and reboot into our new clock my recovery install this super SU zip file reboot and we should be fully rooted all right guys in this next step we're gonna go ahead and boot into clock my recovery to do this I'll go ahead and power off your phone instead of volume down center home and the power we're gonna do volume up center home and power that's how you get into uh, any the custom recovery on any Galaxy Samsung Galaxy phone um, so I'm gonna do volume up center home and power button hold them all together until you see uh, the logo let go of the power button but keep holding down the volume up and the center home and uh, you might get this all right if you get this uh, if you get this green Android guy uh, this could be stock recovery so the way to pass this uh, is that we may have to do the battery pull method if you don't see it then go ahead and skip to the step where you get the clock my recovery but this is not clock my recovery I screwed up um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the battery, all right, or pull, pull the back cover. I'm going to go ahead and do the same steps: volume down, center home, and power button, just like we ah, got to do it kind of quick. Volume down, center home, and power button until you see Odin download mode, all right, and hit the volume up key. We're going to repeat the process, all right. Ah, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in there. And as soon as this my phone reboots after doing Odin, uh, I see pass. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, pull the battery. So uh, I'm gonna hit start button on Odin right now. Ready, set, go. So it's flashing right now. It says reset, uh, and you see the logo. Go ahead and pull the battery. Pull the USB car cable. All right, this is caused by uh, you know. Uh, what happens when you reboot and the Samsung software overwrites it with Star Recovery? Now, if you do install um, Custom Recovery and boot into it the first time, it will disable that. So we're going to go ahead and do the next step again, which is volume up, center home, and the power. All right. And you see the logo, let go of the power button. Keep holding down volume up, center home. All right. And now you should be in clock bar recovery. So that's one of the things that can happen uh, just to, due to how Samsung software is. Uh, but uh, for most of you, you probably didn't have to do it. You probably saw this uh, right away. But I'm going to go ahead and put my back cover on, sort of, uh, so it doesn't get all messed up here. Uh, so next, what you want to do is go to Install Zip and choose Zip from SD card or the second one, if you put your file, super SU file, in your uh, SD card, uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose the first option. I'm going to go ahead and use the arrow key and go find the update super SU blah blah dot zip. All right, hit enter and go ahead and say yes. All right, and this will root your phone. That's pretty much it. All right, I'm going to go to go back. And then I'm going to go ahead and reboot system now. And it should ask me to disable that uh, recovery script. All right. Oh, maybe it didn't. All right. So I got it booted. Uh, if something happens again, and it overwrites it. You can do the same battery pull method uh, whenever you need to uh, get into clock mount recovery. Um, so that's pretty much it. And we're re rebooting here and we should have a fully rooted phone all right next what you want to do is go ahead and go to your app drawer and go ahead and find super su where is it oh there we go so we got super su there 
uh, go ahead and open it once. It's going to say uh, to disable Knox. Say yes. OK. All right. And sometimes this could hang. If it hangs, and just reboot and try again. Uh, Knox is basically a security feature Samsung put on your phone, which is kind of useless. And if you root your phone, it just uh, interferes with it. Uh, but uh, it shouldn't take too long. If, if it takes more than like 30 seconds, I would try reboot and run SuperSU again and disable Knox. And that's what we might have to do here. Uh, we're too impatient. So we're going to go ahead and restart the phone. I'm going to put the back cover on completely here. And nice and clean. And also, I do highly recommend after you root your phone, uh, definitely make a backup ROM uh, using Clockmart Recovery or Torp Recovery. Because backup, backing up your ROM will back up all of your stock operating system the way it is right now. Uh, that way, you can restore it later. All right, go ahead and open SuperSU again. Uh, lo, 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 lo. There we go. And say OK again. And this, show, this time it will work. See that? So Knox was successfully disabled. It might ask you to update also SU binaries. Uh, if it does ask you, then also say yes. And that one in my hang, you might have to reboot. If you don't get any errors, you get to this point, congratulations, you have a fully rooted phone. Um, to check that you have full root, you can go ahead and download a free app called Titanium Backup App, which I also recommend. It backs up all of your apps, uh, app data, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. And we should see Super User Request Window pop up here. Uh, the first time it might take a little bit longer than usual. And boom, shot clock. There we go. Make sure you hit Grant. Oops. Uh, I lost it for some reason. If if some reason you mess up like that and it just the screen screen disappears. Uh, also, there we go. Now it it wants me to update the binary. Uh, hit yes and normal. And that could be why it wasn't popping up. So I don't know why it didn't do it first time. Uh, but uh, if you get if you hang here, then you'll want to actually reboot again. Uh, there we go. Hit grant. And success. So you should be all good to go. And boom shakalaka, our titanium backup is running. Uh, ah, got in there. Just run it again, just close everything and run it again. And we should be all good to go. There you go. All right. Um, so that's about it. That's how you can root um, your uh, Node Edge. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll have another root video using uh, Chainfire's root method, which does not install custom recovery. That one's for those of you who just want root. Uh, but that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys soon. And thanks guys for watching this video. Now you should have a rooted node edge. And uh, I, the development is still developing. A little bit slow with the node edge. But uh, we should have it uh, get the ball rolling pretty soon. Uh, for those of you wondering, it usually takes maybe three to six months before good custom ROMs that are stable that comes out. Um, so it's been, I think, what, a couple months now, three months or something. Uh, maybe one or two months, two more months, we'll have a plenty of ROMs, I think. Uh, but uh, in the meanwhile, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and as always, stay on Android.